Dangerous Gas Boilers. My name's Alan Hart and in today's video I've got some clips. These have been sent in from subscribers. So if you are a subscriber, please, um, I'll put my WhatsApp below, send your videos in, send your pictures in. Uh, but these are some very, very dangerous boilers. So without further ado, let's go and have a look at this Worcester Bosch. This is a Worcester Bosch 24 CDI combi boiler. Sorry about the poor quality. But when you go up into the loft, we can see that there's no flue connected to, to the boiler at all. The engineer was called out to a faulty boiler, boiler not working. If you can see here, we can see the old, or the flue terminal that should have been going to the outside. So clearly you can see from that, that is absolutely shocking, shocking. So what's happened is the the customer of the property has phoned the engineer out because the boiler's not working. And prior to that, the customer had um, has had a new roof installed. And when the roofers had done the roof, whenever it was in the past, they'd pulled the flue out and then they just tiled over on the roof. So clearly with that, super, super dangerous. Um, yeah, so put some comments below. Let me know what you think. Um, or what your opinion is of that install. Um, yeah, let's have a look at this next one. Really sorry for the extremely poor video quality on this one. So obviously it's the wrong way around. Um, that flow should be over the, the other way on the video. Should be horizontal. That's your ideal Esprit Eco. This is another job. So this is a valent combi boiler this is the gas pipe outside of the property but if you have a look inside you can see that the gas pipe is not sealed you can see straight outside so obviously that should be sealed and if we have a look at the flue we can see the flue's been it's been filled with expanding foam but the joint is in the wall so the actual full joint of the flue is in the wall. I haven't been out to any of these jobs, so I'm just relying on the subscribers who sent them in. But the, the ideal spree, obviously, it just goes to show how the flue needs to be supported correctly and, and, and be secure. When we have a look at the um, valent, Clearly the, the gas the gas should be installed correctly and sealed and the flue the flue joint again that shouldn't be in the wall unless the manufacturers say something different. So as always always read the manufacturer's instructions. But let's go and have a look at this next one now. This is showing a flue straight through the middle of a supporting wall that's supporting two lintels. This just shows another flue that's in a wall, or the flue joint, should I say, that's in the wall, as you can see there. So if the flue had come off, you wouldn't know that it'd come off. You'd have to check installation instructions for that. This just shows a condensate pipe. So this copper pipe has been used as a condensate pipe. And clearly we can see it's corroded. So we shouldn't be using copper on condensate pipes. This just shows a flue that's not installed correctly, no support on it, and also it's falling into the middle, which has caused the flue to actually rot. This is just one where you've got your boiler, it's a main Eco Elite, and it's too close to the window. It actually overlaps the window. That's a few videos and pictures from subscribers. Please do keep them coming in. And if you've got any questions, please ask in the comments below. Just a quick one this for a, for a Sunday afternoon. And thank you to everybody who watches and supports this channel. Thank you.